Hi guys, so this is the 25th C tutorial, and in this one we're going to be doing basically the exact same as the last one, so similar that we're actually going to copy everything that we've got here, just paste it twice, um, I am just going to find where it is, and now what we're going to do is we're going to be finding the arc of sine. So basically this is the inverse of sine. So if you grab a calculator or anything like that and you've got sine, cos and tan on them, above them there should be a button in a different color saying sine to the power of negative one. That's basically what the arc of sine, cos and tan do. So to do this we need to just add an A on the end. And that, that's all it is. Now, I'm going to run these through on my calculator while running this program. Um, 0.25 and inverse of cos, 0.25 and inverse of 10.25. So what I get here is pretty much the same, so I'm not going to worry about that. But now like I did before in the last tutorial, I got rid of the dot 2 just to get it down to the original six figures. <coughs> and there we go. So that's exactly, well, yes, that's exactly what my calculator is returned. Now, what we need to understand here is that instead of doing the typical sign, like this is a, um, what did I say it was, the cosine of x equals y, this is the inverse of, co the inverse of cos equals x here, this is the inverse of sine equal, equals y, I'm sorry, excuse that x I mentioned, um, the inverse of cos x equals y, and the inverse of tan x is equal to y. So again, same as last tutorial, for those of you that know a whole lot about this, if you could post comments about it and explain a little bit, that would be great. For those of you that don't know, maybe you could uh, look it up just to get some background knowledge. I doubt we're going to need it anytime soon, but oh, it's it's good if you know. The more you know, isn't, oh God, is, is that by G.I. Joe or something? Well, Anyway, thanks for watching, remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.